Hello friends, myself Amar. Now in this video, I will discuss about text editor in Prime Vizes. Text editor is nothing but an input component with rich text editing capabilities. Okay. Now to demonstrate the text editor, what I have done, I have created a project named as text editor where I have a index.xhtml page and inside the ripples code package i have created a managed bean class named as text editor bean okay inside the index.xhtml what i have done i have taken the required tags as you can see now inside the head tag i have given the caption title as text editor now in the body there is a form tag inside the form tag i have taken the text editor component of the prime faces in the widget where I have written basic editor. Now in the value I am I have written te dot value. Now you can guess te is nothing but the name of the managed bean, and value is nothing but the attribute which has been defined inside the managed bean. Let me show you. This is the text editor bean class where I have created a string variable named as value with its corresponding getter and setter, and you can see the name of the managed bean I have given as te. That's why I am accessing this value variable by using the name te.value. After that, I have given the height of the text editor as 300. Okay. Now it has another attribute secure. By default, I have make it as false. Now what if I make it as true that I will discuss later on. Okay. Now after that, there is a command button having the value as submit. In the update, I have written display, which is nothing but the ID of this output panel. And in the on complete attribute, I have written pfdlg.so. Now DLG is nothing but the dialog. As you can see here, I have created a dialog having the header as content. In the widget where I have written DLG. After that, there is an effect so effect which is fed, and there is a hide effect which is also fed. Inside this dialog, I have taken the output panel having the ID as display. As you can see here on the button click it is updating display okay now inside this output panel there is a h3 tag where i have written basic inside the output panel there is another component of prime faces that is output text and in the value i have written te dot value this means the value which has been assigned to this variable that will be assigned to the output text now it has another attribute escape by default it is true now here I have made it as true. What if I make it as false that I will discuss later on. Okay. Now, if I run this, then you will be able to see a output like this. This is the text editor. Now here, suppose I am writing ripples code. Okay. After that, if I click on submit, then you can see the dialogue is coming here. You can see there is a written content which I have written here that is the header of the dialog actually and this is the output panel here basic is written and the content which I have written inside the text editor that is assigned to the value variable and the value which is assigned to the value variable that is displayed as an output text okay now let me make it as bold okay and after that let me click here once again now again you can see p strong because I have made it as bold that's why the strong tag is coming here. Okay. Now what I will do is that let me make the escape attribute as false. Now let me save this. Let me refresh the page once again. Now let me write here a ripples code. Okay. Let me make it as bold. Now click on submit. Then you can see. Now the tags are not printed. The repulse code is printed in bold. That is the difference of making escape true and false. Okay. Now here, as you can see, this text editor has another attribute, which is called as the secure. Okay. Now secure is false. If I make it as true. Okay. And after that, if I refresh the page, then you are getting the same output. Now, what is the difference of making secure as true and false? If the secure attribute is true, then it will prevent XSS that is cross site scripting. But if it is false, then it will not prevent cross site scripting. Let me tell you one more thing. If you are making the secure as true, then then in your libraries folder, 
this html sanitizer jar file must be there you search the jar file with this name and download it and after that you put it inside the libraries folder if you are not putting this jar file in the libraries folder and if you are making the secure as true then it will generate error let me show you if i remove this from here okay now secure is true now if i refresh this then you will see it is generating error what it is written text editor component is marked secure true but the html sanitizer was not found on the class path that's why it is generating error so either you need to make secure as false or if you are making secure as true then that jar file must be there if i make it as false then it will work successfully there will be no problem as you can see it is working but if it is true then that jar file must be there okay let me add the jar file once again this is the name of the jar file okay this you need to download after that add it now it is attached here now secure is true now if i refresh it now it will work okay now if you want to customize this text editor that is also possible to do that here i have written a sample code here from here i will just copy this and let me paste it here okay inside the text editor here i have used f facet given the name as toolbar inside the toolbar i have taken ql formats bold italic underline strike and ql format as font and size now if i refresh the page once again then you can see only this normal font that is this and this is coming because inside the text editor i have specified only these things okay this is how you can customize your text editor this is the entire code for the text editor in text.html page as you can see this is the entire code for index.xhtml just have a look okay this is the code for index.xhtml and this is the managed bin here simple there is a variable value with its corresponding getter and setter okay i hope you have liked my video if you have liked my video please subscribe to my channel thank you so much